Hello everyone, coming to you live today from Geography Labs and we're gonna demo our latest feature which is uh, our voice marks on Google Earth. Um, so just a little something before we get started, if you hear any strange background noises, you're not hearing things. That's Latte, the bulldog. He's either chewing, grooming himself, or possibly humping Scooby-Doo. Don't know who Latte is? That's this guy right here. That guy right there. So next question, you're probably wondering where I'm wearing sunglasses. Just a little tip if your eyes hurt from being at the computer for millions of hours, put on some sunglasses. All right, anyway, let's get to it. So um, if you turn your attention to the screen over here, I'll just get my mug out of the way. And the first thing you need to do is go to earth.google.com and download Google Earth 5.0. Um, if you've already if you already have that installed and you're cool, you're set to go. But make sure you have Earth 5.0. Any previous versions uh, will likely not uh, show everything that uh, geography uses. So once you have that, uh, if you want to search for geography. Um, you can go to the Earth Gallery, so earth.google.com slash gallery. And you can type in Geograffiti here and search for it. Um, so the other option is to go to geograffiti.com slash kml slash geograffiti dot kml and get that link directly um, uh, into your Google Earth. So go ahead and do that. And you should see a file on your desktop. Um, or Google Earth might have opened it up automatically. If it's on your desktop, go ahead and open it. And here's what you should see. Um, it'll zoom right into our default location. And on the sidebar, you'll have uh, the main geography section, which just gives information about geography. Um, and then a folder called geography information. Right now, there's a user guide, um, which is actually going to be this video so I'm not gonna open that up because nothing's there yet um, and then you'll have the latest and greatest um, about geography so we'll keep the section updated um, for example here's a how-to video on our recent blog post about Twitter integration um, if you get a pop-up like this it's perfectly fine these are just images coming from YouTube I'm not sure why why this is coming up all of a sudden but it just started happening for me so just go ahead and okay it and you'll see you know, our video demo for Twitter integration or whatever the latest feature is. Um, so the other section that you'll see here, and this is the important one, uh, is this voice mark section. And this will have all the voice marks that are currently available in the area that you're viewing on Google Earth. So you might be wondering why you can't see anything or why, you know, there are there are maybe five or six voice marks over here, but only one showing up um, on the right. So here's an important thing. You need to look up here on the time slider and you'll notice that you know you have these, these two little sliders here that kind of give the date range uh, of voice marks that are available. So you want to move this all the way to the right um, so that everything appears. Um, so I just think about it, it's kind of like a historical slider. Um, you know, move it down, voice marks that were created later on start popping up. And I'll tell you about that in a little bit. For now, just know that might be the reason why you don't see anything. All right, um, <clears throat> so if you go ahead and open up one of the voice marks, you'll see um, you know, what's available on Google Earth. And so it's, it's very, very minimal, the functionality. Um, you get to hear the voice mark and, and you have a few links, but other than that, you know, the full functionality is obviously available on the website and you can get to that by clicking here. Um, but, you know, at least you see a you know, picture of the creator and uh, get a few default things like directions to and from here that's built into Google Earth. Um, and then obviously the, the flash player button, so you can click on that and the voice mark should play. Um, and then 
you should see a website link if there is one and these telephone links which you know if you're browsing from a mobile phone will actually let you dial that number um, directly um, so as to you know how, how you move around this uh, this map or on Google Earth um, you know same thing that you're used to you can either pan around or zoom out or even type stuff up here like you know New York New York and the voice marks themselves should update you know within seconds of you flying over to that area so if you watch this we're headed over to the New York area as soon as this camera uh, stops moving um, within seconds you know everything available in in your viewport you know everything right here will update and you'll see that in the sidebar so oof wow obviously somebody's really kind of angry there with uh with traffic don't blame the guy I fucking hate this stupid ass JFK Boulevard Ooh. 25 miles per hour like all right well like I said somebody's really mad at traffic right now um now let's say you want to get directions to um I don't know this one for some reason let's get directions to New York City um, you can click on this like directions to here or from here so I'll click on to here and okay this is fine I'm in Los Angeles and hit enter and you'll get directions to that voice marks location so you know this is standard stuff that you you're used to on Google Earth alright so that about does it for our uh, demo of our latest feature um, nothing too fancy just a little little something for you guys you know just kind of recreational use um, just another way to browse our our voice marks and you know in case you're you're an avid user of Google Earth you now have geography voice marks there just in case um, as always if you have any information any suggestions any trouble um, go ahead and email us at info at geography.com and you can also follow us on Twitter so twitter.com slash geography and we'll be happy to answer your questions alright everyone that's all have a great day bye